All right, so let's see. This Twilight doesn't want us to come into the base. She thinks she's so cool, trying to boss us around. Listen, honey, I was here, I'm here for a meeting. I'm here for a meeting with the other obvious Sith. Like me and this Jedi and my robot, we're here to, it's a meeting, it's fine. Damn it. I think because I'm pretty, I'm also stupid. You better tell me why you're here, I'll hit this alarm. Uh, look, here's 50 credits, don't touch the alarm. It's like half of a retirement fund. Okay. Sit them in your life a living hell. It's time someone stood up to them. Yeah. Let's stand up to the Sith. Okay, so now that I have the door open, can I switch out the droid? Can I just, like, go back to... I'm gonna try that. I wonder if I need him to open the door every time. I don't think I do. Okay, let's let's try to swap out that droid. Karth. Karth, you're coming with you. Jerk. Alright. Let's go. Karth. Basila. Let's go see if we can get back into the base. <laughs> Every time I use the transit system, it makes me think of the characters just being on, like, a bus. Like, awkwardly waiting to get to their mission. Yeah, we can totally do it. Alright, Karth. Stealth Ops. Let's get in here. Oh my god, there's Sith Troopers in that room. Uh, yeah. How about that energy shield? Yeah, get in there, Jedi. Get him, Basila. Get him. <laughs> Yeah, we're great. We did it. Okay, good. Well, toast. Uh, let's see. What do we just get? Data pad? Seems to be an activity log for the day. Of interest only is the following entry. The power conduit we installed in the elevator seems to have solved the shield outage problem on the droid. Finish tuning it today. Okay. This door is the standard by which all doors in the galaxy are judged. Should we fight the one that's attacking me? Yeah, let's do that. Force Aura, Force Valor, Burst of Speed, cool. Superpowers. Yes? What? Yes? What? Right, droid chunks. What do we got? Energy shields, plating. Ooh, first aid container. Yeah, let's take a swim in that back deck for a few minutes. That'll make me feel better. <laughs> yeah, God. Enemies. Oops. No. Cancel. Cancel your grenade. Or not. Oh, yeah. Whatever. She moved anyway. Oh, poor Karth. He's all, like, limping. Okay. Slice it. Access security cameras. Main barracks. Secondary barracks. Can I just overload shit? Eh, yeah, get nuked. Brilliant. Alright. So... Anywhere else we can get rid of people? No. Elevator? Ooh, scary. Big scary droid. What have I got for spikes? I've got six left. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna need more of those. Uh, all right. 
More spikes. Okay, I'm gonna try to come back here when we have more. Come back here when we have more spikes. I think we're getting all these droid items under the assumption that we have the droid in the party. Oh, too late for shields, I guess. I mean, nobody has better, um, I mean, Shalupa's terrible skills, uh, because I haven't upgraded her. I haven't leveled her up in a long time, um, but let's see. I don't think that either of these characters have, how do I see my skill list? There it is. Computer use, nothing. Uh, computer use, one. Where's my character? Computer use, four. Yeah, so... Oh boy, it's a puzzle. Puzzles are super fun. <laughs> I just gained some dark side points and I do not know what I did. I guess I just killed whatever was in here. Alright. <laughs> well, whatever. It's fine. Totally fine. Yeah. You asked for that. Whatever that was. You did. Whoever that was, they're dead now and it doesn't matter. Ooh, a pass card. That'll come in handy. <laughs> you get a dark side point. You get a dark side point. Dark side points for everybody. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, what? No, I don't want to fight you. Shit. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, it, it has melee attacks. Okay. Iron grenade. How'd you like that? No, oh, best look. Yeah, I think here I'm gonna I'm gonna load. I don't want to fight this thing yet. I gotta go get some more spikes. I gotta get more spikes. We'll come back. We'll do this part after. Yeah, if I had the droid with me, um, I could go get him because he's got a much better, obviously, much better computer skill than me. So that's an option, certainly. We'll see what else I can find. I'll explore the rest of the map, and then if uh, if I don't find more of those, I'll go get him. Whoa, look at all those Sith. Alright, well, are we gonna, are we gonna fight? I guess we're gonna fight. Get him with that sniper shot. Get him. You asked for this. Go. Everybody shield up, please. Because, you know. There we go. Cool. That wasn't so bad. Hmm. Grenade belt. 
Yeah, we're all pretty fucked up right now. Why would there be a rusted sentry bot just standing in the hallway? Man, these Sith need to work on their cleaning protocols. Okay, no, that's fine. Alright, let's go. It's funny how after however many thousands of years, the Star Wars universe is still pretty much the same. Like, it's the same fundamental conflicts, the same... Basically looks... Everything looks the same. Fuck. Um, yeah, like, you know, the... You'd think that this this war between the Jedi and the okay between the Jedi and the Sith would have ended at some point like I don't know it's yeah it's the same technology droids are the same everything's the fucking exact same shit um, I think I'm gonna go back and get the I'll go back and get the droid do some hacking and then I'll uh, I'll dump them off if I need uh, cards for the end of the thing yeah let's go back. Um, I mean, there's minor differences, but, like, even the aesthetics of the universe are identical. Like, you'd think, like, even a single thousand years, uh, a single thousand years is, is a, a big amount of time, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, look at the difference between, like, 1700 and and now right and then imagine there's like thousands and thousands of years of development um i don't know maybe we're just seeing parts of the universe that are the same but uh or parts of the timeline that are that are the same but i mean i guess this is the problem with working with a um like a brand right is that you uh you have to make it look like Star Wars. It has to feel like Star Wars. Um, and if you change it too much, then it won't, uh, it won't, it won't ring true, you know? Like, it won't feel like, uh, it won't feel like Star Wars anymore. And uh, obviously then it won't sell, right? So. Okay. Ooh. Deep sea diving suits, apparently. Cover that mine. Doop -ba -doop. Okay. Computer use sixteen. All right. Yeah, disable for six. Take that, droid shield. Uh, I've only got one spike left, though, so. Let's log out. Okay, all right. Well, that's something. What can I do? Hmm? Quite the best. It'll definitely make that fight easier when we get around to it. Mm -hmm. 
I guess, you know, honestly, like, it, it feels a little, I guess it feels a little, not hypocritical exactly, but it feels a little funny um, getting into that whole idea of, you know, discussing, wow, I got wrecked, uh, discussing what is or isn't sort of a, Star Wars because like I I want I want Star Wars to feel like Star Wars too, um, and I, I feel like if uh, if they changed it too much, it wouldn't feel like Star Wars anymore and and I guess that's the that's the challenge, isn't it? So let's get the fuck out of here. Um, making it feel enough like Star Wars that you're gonna want to watch it or play it or engage with the media in some way. But not so much like every other Star Wars that, you know, it's just boring and samey. Which is definitely a risk. Can I have my friends back, please? <laughs> Like that I throw the grenade with my head. Suck it. Eat stun ray. Newt stun ray. I like that I'm just, uh, griefing this fight, basically, because there's a bunch more guys over here. They just aren't attacking me. Keep doing your thing, droid. Finish the fight for us. Did kill everybody yet? No. Okay, there's two more. Jesus, man. No, there you go. <laughs> Cool, thanks. Thanks, robot. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we want to go... Let's try to go to the armory. I'm going to skip that big room full of jerks. And we'll start with the armory. Turrets! Don't, why? Why are you doing that? Why do you run through the mines? I'm here. The foe, I'm here. Let's <laughs> the foe. Okay, we did it. The fight's over. You can get up now I'm here. and run into that gas mine, probably. Disruptor pistol, a bunch of grenades. Cool. A flamethrower and a shield disruptor. Awesome. Okay, fuck it, let's just go fight that. Go fight that robot. Cause I would love to just get out of here. Where's the elevator? All right, all the way around. And I'm gonna equip uh, ion weapons because I'm fighting a droid, right? So, uh, one to six damage though. I guess this just makes more sense. 
Sunray and Shield Disruptor. Okay. I'm here. Let's go. No, I'm saving my levels. I'm saving them for Jedi time. I can't wait till I become a Jedi so that I can stop stressing people out by not using my abilities. Oh, Ion just does double damage, so 3 to 8 or uh, yeah, okay. Right, let's try it. Oh, look at that thing. It's huge. It's fucking huge. Alright, let's go. Okay, start with the ion grenade. Try to use your stun ray on that thing. And you don't go in there yet. There we go. Why are you following me? Yeah, fight my friends. Nice. Yeah, level up. Fucking pour it all into computer use. I accept. Yes. Bastila. Would you like to level up? I guess, sure, why not? <sighs> okay, what power should we give her? I mean, I don't plan on using Basil that much, so I kind of don't care. Um. Push, throw lightsaber, fear. Just want to make her like tough. I guess I could just pile on some healing powers for her, yeah. Oh, yeah, healing. Hells yeah, give it to me. There we go. I accept. What? Okay. Oh, I have to, I have to unlock it with the, nah, I have to go unlock it with the console. Okay. Alright, well, we're just gonna kill everybody else in this uh, base. Oh, I should switch my weapon back also. Oh, Karth Blaster, there it is. Huh, Sith base pass key. I wonder if that will get us through. Yeah, there we go. So, um, Terakai was asking, do I find the game pushing you to be good given that two of your starting companions are definitely light side? You know, normally in games like this... Who dares to break my meditation? pay for interrupting my normally yes I would feel a little more inclined towards what the NPCs want but in this I'm actually finding it fun to just harass the NPCs could be found on this insignificant planet but your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side this is a sneering super villain I'm going to enjoy gutting you ah yes feed the hatred and anger within yourself call upon the power of the dark side but not even that can <laughs> save you now. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber. When lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, no. No, shut up. There we 
There, get him. Get him with your everything. Shoot him with your beams. Yes. Here, Bat. But oh, Basla, you weren't quick enough on the uptake with the healing. No, my droids. Well, that fight could have gone better. <laughs> okay, try that again. <laughs> yeah, the CC is definitely on 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 an, uh, another level. I definitely need to like grenade spam and and CC him a bunch. So let's. Guess activate shields now. Not like they're gonna help, right? Because he's not using. I'm here. Well, I just I get I didn't see his ranged weapons, whether he used them or not. So. Heal up. There we go. What? Let's do it. Who dares? Who dares? Shut up. Frag grenade. And you. Go get them with your here. No, no. Frag grenade first, then stun. Yeah. And you can also frag grenade. What can I do? Let's just hurl a million grenades into the room. What can I do? What? Yes. Get them. Can I do? Come on, paralysis, wake up. I'm here. <laughs> what? Oh, that's hacks. <laughs> He's really resistant to the stuns that I'm putting on him, and then. He's really good at fucking me up with his own stunts. So that's cool. Come on, Knights of the Republic. There we go. Okay. So just more, more stunning, I guess. Caution grenade and stun. And stun beam. What can I do? Oh my god. So annoying. Holy. One down, and my Jedi is already. Is he immune to this these abilities? Cause I don't seem to be stunning him. What can I do? Hmm. Whew. Hella Sith Governor. This guy's nasty. Okay, uh, let's let's see. Do I have better gear for anybody? <sighs> Shield disruptor. Maybe I'll equip a flamethrower. Hmm. Energy shield level two. Okay. Um, dude has a shield, so maybe a shield disruptor instead. Okay. 
Uh, great. And how about... I mean, I've just got my pistol, and that's pretty much the only weapon that's worth using. Because uh, I'm not built for melee. Um, and then Bastila, we already know about. Like, Bastila's all set up, too. Okay, so let's let's try to break his shield, and then go from there. So do ion weapons deal with shields? Let me take a look. Ion blaster. Damage ion one to four. Mm, no, so it only it only okay. Ions don't affect shields. They're just droids. Droids are just the, the thing. Okay. All right. Well, we might as well be using the proper weapon, and uh, let's uh, let's equip with the sunray. And again, if if I can't do this, I can always get rid of T three, and I can I can come back with uh, Karth, because Karth is a much better character I'm here. Uh, for fighting, at least. All right, let's try one more time, then we'll go uh, we'll go switch it up and try uh, try Karth if this doesn't work. Oh, the disruptors go through the shields. That's what disruptors are for? All right, all right. Well. Let's try that, shall we? Okay, he can't use a disruptor, so. What's this thing? Oh, this is from, uh, from before. Okay. All right, let's I'm go. Here. What can I do? Who dares who? Ah, the. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so he's got his shield up now. So we're taking shots at him. So we gotta break his shield down first, then we can stun him. I guess is the is the thing here. So let's um, use the shield disruptor. You shall fall. Okay. Uh, yeah, his shield's down. There we go. Or we're cutting through it. Oh, that's a shame. Oh my god, are we just gonna have to droid spam him into death again? <laughs> yep, here we go. So hoping I could stun lock him, but no. Okay. It's, I don't know. I'm dead. It's fine. All right. Let's try. Uh, we'll try using Karth. I think I get the basic. I get the basic gist of it now. So we're gonna head out, teleport back, and grab some tougher characters. Yeah, I'm saving uh, saving my level ups because I I still don't want to uh, still don't want to blow them on uh, um, non Jedi stuff. Okay, so let's 
Uh, let's take we'll take Karth with us and Bastila, and hopefully this will help. So Karth. Let's see, if I give you a Disruptor... Oh, he's pretty good with the two blasters. Disruptor rifle's only six. Yeah, okay. That's better. Yeah, and I'll keep the... I'll keep the Disruptor on me. Okay. Well, let's go take a look here. Let's see if we can uh, make, it, make it happen. Yeah, I just gotta keep Karth out of melee. That's a very good point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I probably have some weapon upgrade uh, stuff I could do. Having to continually go back to... Where the hell is the rest of my party? Ready. We get stuck I'm on a here. wall or something? There we go. Hi, everybody. You morons. Hmm? Okay. Alright. Let's do it. Let's kill this guy. Everybody f sick of this speech yet? Alright. Um, concussion grenade. Concussion grenade. And you. Power blast that guy. And Bastila. Try, try to use your stun ability on him. Let's see if it'll work. There we go, get him. Let's make this Fucking get him. Get him, rip him up. Oh my god. Oh, did he heal? Oh, that's annoying. shot that guy. Come on. Oh, he's so close. Shit. Oh, man. I'm so close. Oh, so he's draining for my... Drain my life for his. Okay. Well, the stun thing seemed to work out pretty good. Uh, let's do more of that, I guess. Just... Just pour it on. I don't even care. Just stun him forever. Uh, no, cancel. Shit. You asked for this. Ready. What can I do? Let's make this quick. Come on. Just put him down. He's so close. Yes. Ah, there we go. We did it. It's over. <laughs> I'm here. Terrace launch codes. I like that he has the launch codes, like, just in his pocket. There we go. Now we can go home. We can leave this stupid place. And we can get on with the actual game. Alright. Perception? Upper city? Yeah, we gotta just get the fuck out of here.
to the hideout. Okay. Nope, that's not our hideout. So I was wandering to somebody else's house. This one's yeah, that's our hideout, okay. What are we doing? Yeah, here we go. Up here on the left. Yeah. Alright, what do we got to upgrade? Ooh. Power crystals. Curse blaster? Do I have any upgrades? Here we go. Yep. Upgrades done. Um, I'm gonna take Karth and Basla with me because I'm pretty good. I'm pretty. I'm pretty into their uh, their abilities. Uh, now we gotta go to the upper city and uh, turn in that quest with uh, Ordo. So. Let's go do that, shall we? Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. All right. Yes. What's on your mind? I just want to talk with you. Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? I just want to know why you distrust me what's so much. Pressure? Why can't you just leave it be? I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. But we have to work together, Karth. So it has plenty to do with me. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Okay, backstory time. The Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? <laughs> what do I have to do with them? It's not that. It's that's not what I mean. That there were there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith. I just can't take him seriously with this stupid goggle who thing. The Republic and join them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they join with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. You say that with such. Hatred. I know. I know. And I should apologize Good. to you. I've become so accustomed Good. to expecting the worst of others. I've done nothing to deserve that. It's just. No, never mind. Yeah, I'll never mind. Continue with what we were doing. All right. That's fine, Karth. You're useless. We get it. Earth, man, feel that hate. Um, is this not where Candorus is? Am I not supposed to meet him in the bar? <laughs> it's obviously Karth is emotionally scarred. <laughs> you could probably fuck with him more later. Escaping Terrace. Oh, lower city cantina. I'm in the wrong cantina. I'm in the wrong neighborhood. Out of the way, Garuk. Do 
do do do do do do do do do do do do do do I think I, mean, I think that the themes of power falling to corruption and um, you know the innate nature of uh, humanity um, of consciousness of, uh, taking on power for the wrong reasons that kind of thing like those struggles they're they're pretty normal in in most it's a, it's a normal thing that comes up in a lot of uh, fiction. But Star Wars just doesn't handle it very well. Like the Jedi, the Jedi are less interesting than I don't know, like Gondor, for example. Uh, so it's harder to care when a Jedi sort of like falls to the uh, falls to the dark side. You're like, meh. Ooh, to Sith party. Okay, lower city is this way. Lassila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested. Well, stop with your battle manifestations. I, I don't care. I have battle meditation, guys. I'm the best. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Or would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. Yeah, it's the Jedi Master. Sounds like you're just making excuses, Bastila. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us unopposed? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon Yeah, the order abandoned us. The council will not about to <laughs> lie away foolishly. Poor confused the NPCs. We aided you against the Mandalorians, but you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than God, that's so typical Jedi bullshit. You didn't do it the way we wanted you to do it. So, I don't know, Dark Jedi is your problem. If Revan had only listened to the council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them Speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Well, jeez. I got all turned around too. I gotta go back this way. Do, 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 do. British guy. Okay. Two apartments, Black Vulgars, Javar's Cantina. Alright, Candrus, get me out of here, please. Get me off the stupid introductory planet. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. Fuck yes. Let's join up. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. This is too risky. We should find another way. <laughs> you got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands. Yeah, fight. I fight each other. Same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Okay. Candorus has joined your party. 
All right, Candorus. Yeah, you and a uh, Jedi and a Mandalorian. Ooh. Look, a spaceship. Is that the Ebon Hunk? I named it after Edris Ilba. Ship. Look at that albedo. So glowy. Really? That that was my cutscene? <laughs> there we go. Ooh, it's the Leviathan. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot <laughs> risk her well. Exterminatus. The entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Bum bum bum. Of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. I have no mouth. That makes me extra creepy and cool. Yes, Lord Malik. Bum bum bum. Bum, oh, bum, Andrus, bum. I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. Ah, oh, this guy. Soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure. Candace He's like the grandpa from Wolfenstein. Not working solo anymore. This is a special. I ran into Why is everybody fighting all the time? You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive. As was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Davik. My name is Shluba Booba. It was nothing I couldn't handle. You know, Candorus was right. The exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebon Hawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebon Hawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons. Blah, 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 blah. You can't leave because I of the am, plot. Of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may... I want the Sith departure codes so I can come and go as I please. Well. But we should continue our tour. Yeah, okay. From Space Brooklyn. These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be in Background check? Like I'm a criminal. You need to do a background check before you join this criminal organization. I don't under... Whatever. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you. Douchebag. rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. Mention the slave quarters again. I know, I get it. You have slaves. I believe you. Stay. Or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. Ooh, most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callum. Let us leave our guests in peace. See you later, Frida Kahlo.
Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Yeah, I agree, Candorous. Yeah. I appreciate your candor. So, okay, he's got his he's got his own special magic weapon, but I can give him a bunch of other crap. Like energy shields. Not not strength gauntlets though. What does a neural band do? Will saves. That sounds good. Ooh, I saw something about XR Coon in there. Strength gauntlets. Gauntlets of strength. And then nothing for me because I'm terrible and useless. Okay. Let's take a look around. Ah, oh, some spikes. Now, where did he say those slave quarters were? I need a massage. On it. Hey, what's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, Pudur. Slaves aren't allowed out of the slave quarters. I can't let them see me here. Wait, I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. No need to call the guards. I just got lost. Okay, I guess it was just an honest mistake, and I'm a reasonable man, so I'll just let it go this time. You better pay more attention to where you're going. Opening the wrong. Opening the wrong door can get you killed. Duly noted. I guess, uh, yeah, good point. Candace is just wearing clothes. There we go. Oh, yeah, you're so sexy, Candace. Oh, and I gotta level him up, too. Okay, skills. Demolition? No. Can I treat, can I even treat injury? Yeah. Oh, he's so cool. Feats. Alright, so we want to give him all of the, like, d like shooty, damagey stuff we possibly can. He's already maxed out for rifles. So maybe I'm thinking, um, give him improved rapid shot, maybe, or... He's maxed out for heavy weapons. Um, hmm. Toughness gives him more hit points. That's kind of a cool idea. Hmm. More implants? How should we level up this guy? I don't want to give him two weapon fighting. Yeah, I just want him to do more damage. I want him to do more blasty damage. So maybe... Yeah, more hit points. Let's do that. Let's give him some toughness. Where did that go? Yeah. <laughs> Rudy Tootie Rapid Shooty. Implants, conditioning, or toughness. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give him toughness. I'll give him... Yeah, you're ready. You're ready to be tough. Oh, what? No. Damn it. I clicked the wrong thing. Toughness. I accept. And then again, more levels. More levels for Candorous. Uh, this time, let's give him implants. Add feet. Okay. Accept. Are we done? We're done leveling? Okay. Good. I'm here. Now he'll be able to survive while he does damage. On it. Done. Anybody on a date in here? No? No dates? Okay. On it. Is that a no. Rancor head? Ew. Oh, great. Pazak cards. I can... Sweet. On it. Done. <laughs> on it. Done. Who are you? Why are you here? Get out or me call guards. Time to die, bug face. Oh. It's alright, wrong room. 
Sorry, wrong room. <laughs> Hello, slave quarters. Of course the slaves are all Twi'lek. Of course. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. Uh, whoa. Slave, you don't know me. Welcome to the slave quarters. Welcome to the slave quarters, mistress. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Ooh, I want a bath and some berries. Massage, mistress. Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. I'd love a massage as right you now. Wish, mistress, you will find this most relaxing if you would come with me into the massage room at the back. I trust you were satisfied with the service? No, I wasn't. That was pathetic. <laughs> Your job isn't finished yet. I want another massage! Certainly have a great hunger for massage! Food. Massage! Give them to me! I demand further touches! My butt is yet unrubbed! Rub it harder! More! More massages! <laughs> Massage me again, fool! That was pathetic. Please, I beg you, don't tell Davik you are displeased with me. He punishes those slaves who do not satisfy his guests. I'm telling Davik you're the worst slave I've ever seen! As you wish, mistress. It will not be the first time I have been punished by Davik. I am sorry I have failed to please you, my lady. <laughs> I will try to do better in the future. Is there anything else you require from this most unworthy servant? I'd love a massage right now. As you wish, mistress. <laughs> Relaxing. If you would come with me into the massage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, massage me some more. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm gonna go. Please. As you Oh god, I accidentally asked him to massage me again. <laughs> I'm trapped in a massage loop. I can't escape. Touch me some more. No, I won't tell anything if you answer my questions. So I will tell you all I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. <laughs> Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was is Hudro good at giving me a massage? Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Evan Hawk. Ooh, Hudro, huh? have grounded every ship on the planet. Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Devic's torture chambers. Ooh, the torture chamber. Where is that? I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Devic's throne room. Just Devic has a throne room. Slave quarters, and you'll see the throne room. But Devic's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. I'd love a massage right now. <laughs> I've had like seven massages. This is the best part of the whole game. That was pathetic. <laughs> You're the worst slave I've ever seen. I'll be going. <laughs> oh, yep. Alright. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Massage. We're gonna take a quick break. I need a massage. <laughs> we'll be right back with uh, more becoming a Sith and having slaves rub our butts. Stick around.